Hey, Dr. Julie here. I'm at Vitagene, and I know I look a little ridiculous, but in my defense, I'm going to a charity event tonight, but I am really tired. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, and this morning I had to have coffee. And as I'm driving into Vitagene with a friend, we started talking about a topic that I think you're gonna wanna hear about. So how many people do you know that drinks coffee? Probably quite a bit, right? And how many people do you know that actually take supplements at least once in a while? Probably also quite a bit, correct? Okay, so. Probably what you didn't know though is that some supplements and coffee or caffeine found in tea can actually negatively impact each other and some of the side effects are like heart palpitations, you can't sleep, so insomnia, jitteriness, anxiety, if you have bipolar you can actually worsen your mania, you can have palpitations, so all of those things are probably not very good and probably not something that you want. And it can be as simple as having a cup of coffee in the morning and taking your B vitamins. Some of the other supplements that can do that are licorice, ginseng and then for those of you on CoQ10 because you're on a cholesterol medication that also can be a problem so these very simple over-the-counter supplements can negatively impact you if you're having coffee and a lot of us are having coffee or, or tea in the morning right so that's something to really keep in mind is that certain supplements can actually negatively impact you if you're just taking them on a regular basis with your daily lifestyle habits of having coffee or whatnot so how do we figure out whether that's a problem for us or not well genetically some people actually have the genes where caffeine affects you more than other people. And so if that's you, having even a little bit of caffeine plus these supplements can cause a lot of the side effects. So finding out your genetics and knowing which supplements are right for you are super important. And it's not just about these two things. A lot of supplements, a lot of disease states, a lot of medications, they all have contraindications. So you want to make sure that you sign up for a program like Vitagene to keep you safe. and. At the end of the day, if you really want to just read about it first, well, you could check out our blog or tune into these educational tidbits on a weekly basis. And what's even better than that is if you send in your questions, I might actually put you on the next week's session. And if that's the case, I'll definitely do a shout out for you.